Chiz Pop is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, experts at helping you plan the perfect vacation. Visit them on the web at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Okay, so we're back, and Steve's face. All cleaned up. Yeah, I guess it's kind of normal. Yeah. It's hard <laughs> to tell what might still be makeup and what might be your actual face now. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but get, it's right. get out of my house. <laughs> yeah. Get out. <laughs> the door. Um, so. We are going to do, we're going to go into a little bit more of the gory side of stuff. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know what kind of wound to do. I'm still not sold on anything specific. Um, what are you feeling like? How do you want me to injure you? Uh, I don't know. I thought you were going to do the arm. I'm going to do something on the arm. And I think what we'll do, an undescript injury for now. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to start out, I'm thinking it's going to be something like a knife gash down the arm. And not like, I'm not... Talking suicide, cut wrists, or anything like that. I'm just saying something gross and bloody on the arm. Yeah. I don't know. Chainsaw, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something something happened. I was thinking we could do a burn on the elbow, but I don't want to do that because, you know, God, you bump your elbow on everything. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do this stuff. So what you're going to need for this thing is these jumbo cotton balls. Or regular size cotton balls. I really don't care. Um, spirit gum, which you can find at these stores, pretty much any of the Halloween stores, because this is how you apply all your Halloween makeup. It's basically like glue for your skin. And um, I always recommend getting the pack that comes with a remover, too. I don't know. I don't know if it really helps, but it just makes me feel a little better. Oh, and then another thing I got today that I want to point out that you could have used at the end of your thing is a sealant. You can put this um, on... Um, it's a spray of light mist over makeup or directly on skin as, prepper, as a perspiration inhibitor or use like water um, with all water applied makeup foundations. Um, so it remo removes easily with soap and water, uh, but it basically, it it's a sealer. So it keeps you from sweating and it keeps the makeup. That's, I mean, dry. that's perfect for one of the parties. Or yeah. It makes it not so scary. Oh uh, uh, yeah, 100% here. So if yeah. you can find this, use this. Um, uh, give it a little hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I've had a cold this week. Um, using a little bit of <laughs> get out. Where is your mask? Um, you um, uh, hairspray. Somebody once told me if you spray a little hairspray over it, it works too. So, um, so we're gonna need the spirit gum. We're gonna need the cotton balls. We're gonna need some blood. Um, mm -hmm. you can get it in the tu tub like this. I also like these two dollar tubes the vampire tubes um oh, yeah, they're pretty good um pretty useful you're gonna need your eyeliner for this one and you are gonna need i don't know we'll see when we get there <laughs> um so first off you're gonna take a couple of these so i'm gonna give these to you steve okay and i'll show you what you do you take the cotton ball and you're just gonna start like pulling it apart oh, yeah okay. making little cotton fluffies like okay. just a little fluff so i guess if you have like an old pillow you could do it with that too but you basically just need really light fluffy cotton you don't want it to be clumpy or anything and you can kind of just keep it in a pile you're gonna need to you need to do that with about i don't know seven or eight of them six or seven of them i just make a pile because like just keep a bag a little ziploc bag um and you can put them back in there whatever you don't use and use them for your other makeup later on down the road um there you go so we've got some cotton there you are gonna need some tissue paper uh toilet paper I brought with me. I didn't know if you were a barbarian and had any. I, just a couple of... Use the towels. Of, uh, <laughs> God, gross. Just a couple of uh, sheets of it. You're going to want toilet paper that's not like hotel toilet paper that is one ply. You kind of need... You need a little bit of this. Um, you could use a paper towel, but toilet paper absorbs a little more... Um, so if you're going to do It's softer. You need soft. If like, I feel like if this is a suggestion for the Halloween party. They're going to not be able to use the resort. Yeah, you can't paper. you can't use resort toilet paper for sure. Um, it's basically not even toilet paper. I feel like it's sheets of wax paper that are like not even I don't know. Uh, I mean, uh, a paper towel work. If you can find stuff that isn't doesn't have a design texture on it, that's cool. If it's a texture that you like, that's cool too cuz it can it can work in your favor. Um, and if you are looking to do Chance the Clown, save these, because we're going to need these later to be mm -hmm. the triangles on her eyes when we get to that. I'll do that tutorial as soon as I have my friend free who's going to help me. So, um, so some tissue paper. 
Okay. What are, we, what are we doing Shoots with that? Shoots of tissues. That's going to be your skin. Okay. So right now I think I'm going to do something that's kind of like maybe like a zombie bite or a, an injury like that. Okay. okay? Um, so first things first, very important. You're going to want to take this latex and do a little bit of an allergy test. Do you have a latex allergy? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this um, and just blot it on your skin. Okay. Just and make sure you don't immediately turn red and go into anaphylactic shock, which you which you won't. If you've touched a balloon before, you're fine. Okay. I, I just do have a friend with a latex allergy. That's all. Does it hurt? Does it burn? No. <laughs> we lost Steve that day, and the lawyers will have it all undocumented. <laughs> and they will burn this camera and throw it to the gators in the bushes. I recommend. Using some of these latex gloves, they might save you some frustration. Um, you, they, the, the latex is going to stick to the gloves in the hand, too. It's going to stick to anything. So maybe try not to wear your favorite clothes if you're a messy person um, or an apron. Just get an apron and use an apron. And um, I would recommend probably pouring a little bit of this out into, like, a shallow surface. Something you that you something? can dip. Yeah. Um, to... Yeah, go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. Um, I, I would have... Um, uh, like a disposable bowl, like the kind that you might already have for the Halloween party you're having. Um, something like that, just a little bit in there. So we're just going to pour, I'm going to pour a little bit out on this. Actually, I lied. I'm sorry. I'm getting a step ahead. Getting a step ahead. Don't pour it out yet. You're going to take your spirit gum. Where did I put it? Uh, so tip, when you're using this, the hair, um, you're going to want to get some petroleum jelly, Vaseline. Mm. Um, so whenever you apply this to your face, Put this in your eyebrows, and it'll keep uh -huh. it from sticking to your eyebrows. Because for like when I do chances makeup, we have to cover the eyebrows. Um, so we're just going to do a whole sheet over that. Um, I've done a I've done makeup for a zombie film before, where um, we had to the eye had to be like ripped out of the face. So mm. I took um, the cotton circles and I like s basically taped it to his face around the eyeball, so I could sink it in a little bit. I mm -hmm. put like a cotton ball in there, and then we sunk it in, and and to keep it out of the eyebrow, I kind of did a little bit yeah, of that yeah. and glued it around that. Um, so that's, that's, that's an important tip here. Now, what you're going to do for the arm applique, you're going to do this. Um, so what you're going to do is, uh, you're going to want to clean the area of the arm, which I've already put the, uh, the stuff on there. So I've already ruined it, but it's not that big a deal. Spirit gum is very sticky, but like I said, it's not, it's nothing too, too painful here. So we're just going to dab that along here. So I missed it. What does this do? This is like glue for your skin. Okay. We're going to say, we're going to make it about like this area. We'll make it a circular wound, like a bite wound or something. Or okay. Who knows? We'll, we'll get there. Sometimes I just start and I get to start there. Okay. So you're going to put that on and then immediately what you're going to want to do is take your, take your cotton swabs here. And since it's going to be a bite, those are kind of circular. So what I'm going to do is stick it around the outside for right now. This is clearly the pile Steve worked on. Doesn't feel very separated. So you're gonna do that. And we're gonna stick the cotton there. We're gonna mound it up like this. Like a bite. Like somebody took a bite out of his arm. Oh no, it's all over my fingers. Um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're probably gonna have to reapply as well. The um, latex will also work as an adhesive for this. I like to do the base of spirit gum though, um, just because I feel like I find that you can. Sometimes you can just rip the whole thing off when you're done, God. and it's easier to do it like that. <laughs> yeah, this isn't for the babies, by the way. Um, removing this, <laughs> what did I sign up for? <laughs> removing this, um, it's not gonna hurt, <laughs> but I feel like it's definitely gonna hurt. When you say, <laughs> it's not gonna hurt, but that sounds like it definitely is gonna hurt. Uh, it's, it's not gonna be like a thing that you look forward. To. It's like a band aid, a band aid that's been on for like. You put it on perfectly. You're so proud of yourself that it got put on the way it did, but you left it on a day or two too long, and you're like, oh, no. Now I've got to, like, pull it really hard. Like, it's one of those perfect Band-Aids. Okay, so it's kind of lumped in there. I put a, I mounted a little bit right through the middle because when you bite, if you need to see it yourself, just give yourself a little. So you see, like, it's a circle. It's teeth, teeth, and then it mounds in the middle. Mounds mm -hmm. flesh in the middle. The Does this big clump need a... Yeah, it's a just... regular Eddie Murphy right there, isn't it? What? Clump. Oh. The clumps. No? <laughs> no, I, I got the reference now. <laughs> I just refuse to acknowledge it. So the wedges, I use the wedges for this. Um, pretty much any wedge you're going to use with the latex, um, you're going to throw it away. Because this stuff is a sticky. 
It's a little goopy, this, like, this lower end stuff. You can always go on, like, Amazon or eBay and get some more professional grade if you want. Like, I feel like they're, like, years of late, they've been watering this down like nobody's business. So I just poured a little bit out of my plate here, as you can see, and I'm going to dab with my makeup square, and you're just going to... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's already in my hair. <laughs> it's already going to hurt a lot. Spreading it in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so you just dab. You're going to dab it. You're, it's it's going to pull some of the cotton off. Don't worry about it. The um, Like I said, this works as an adhesive as well. Oh, that stinks. How about, yeah. There's ammonia in this. So here, put this under your arm, just in case any drips under your thing. Um, see, so yeah, it's already... It smells like dog breath. Sticking. Oh! <laughs> Why did I get so close to it? I've forgotten the smell. Um... I wish I'd probably done it on a little less hairier part of your arm. That's okay. It's you, not me, so it doesn't matter. Oh, God. Um, no, I'm just, I'm just making it out to be, like, terrible worse. Okay, so I also brought with me some popsicle sticks. Now, give oh. these to somebody when they do a really good job. No, these are for um, applying for the parts that you don't want to touch. Or, I'm, like, you need to mound and you don't want it to stick to you. I'm curious how this is going to come together because... Well, that's the thing. Is sometimes it takes a couple of layers with this stuff. So I like to do popsicle sticks. Oh, gosh. I'm going to push this together. Put that out. So you kind of want to mound in the middle. In the middle. So this is where you'll probably end up using more, more um, cotton as well. Cotton Weary from Screen. It's the one that was wit uh, framed for... Sydney's mother, prayed by Leave Schreiber. <laughs> okay, Steve, you might have to shave that part of your arm later. Oh, God. Just FYI. Um, so, I'm going to add a little bit more here. <laughs> Whoa, I wish I'd put my gloves on. <laughs> um, so... It, it's, it, it's a slow process sometimes because you have to do a couple layers. So, another thing that you can do, too, is if you have, um, like, uh, tweezers or something like that, you can give it, like, little pinches and pull at it. And pull at it, and it'll give it a little more... Volume? Yeah. A little more, like, textured peel. Okay, so I'm going to do another, another swipe here, and then we... I, I'm um, just thinking about how painful this is going to be to take off already. <laughs> The zombies, I put this all over people's face. Oh, damn. Yeah. But you usually put a release on your face so that, like, it, it'll stick to the face, but it, like, it it won't, like, stick. You know what I mean? Like, it, it you wash. It, you, yeah. you wash it with warm water and it'll come off. So I don't have that option for that. <laughs> Feeling a little lightheaded from this stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, this ammonia. God, keep the window open for crying out loud. If you thought the episode was crazy before, just wait for ten more minutes. <laughs> This is kind of one of those arts where, like, you're just going to have to keep keep kind of going with it until it starts to kind of resemble something. Like, you're like, oh, yeah, okay, there we go. You're like, yeah, okay, it's starting to see Yeah, it. you know. I mean, we're going to paint it, obviously. This is going to be like a burn bite. <laughs> I'm... Ooh. Oh, I am uh. stuck to your skin. <laughs> I am stuck to your skin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that you could hear that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Uh. That's just a preview for later, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, just keep it on for a while. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What did I get myself into? Yeah. When we have Oliver for this. I I tried. I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. We were gonna, Oliver's going to be Chance. So the important thing with any stuff that you use is make sure that you're reading the warning labels as well. You know what I mean? Like, mm. the allergy test is on there. You're getting stuck to me again. Okay. What happens <laughs> to the stuff, you know? Like, what happens if you get this in your eye? All that stuff. You did. Yeah. So, so actually, while you spread it out, like, honestly, if this was a little bit better latex, you could, you could actually blend this into your skin a little better. Mm. But that's where, like, a foundation would come in. So we're going to give this a second. Um... <laughs> Let me get this. So that's how you make things look like they went into your skin. Um, okay. So we need to let that dry for a minute. 
Um, okay. So just wait, wait it out for a little bit? Yeah. Um, I have a blow dryer. Um, not with me, obviously, because I didn't come that prepared. Um, but that's what I normally just, if I'm going to pinch, I'll just blow dry it really quick. Um, most, if you're sitting in a chair and a makeup artist is working on you, they'll probably will blow dry it. Um, so that's what I would recommend. We don't have one here, so we're just going to give it a, sec a few minutes here. Okay, so we let it dry a little bit. Like I said, a blow dryer is really going to help you out with this part. Um, I like to apply all the blood right away. Um, you can do the edges like with a foundation or some sort of similar makeup if you want to look at really blend in. But I, for me, I love to like the wound to look gross. Like so black, you know, green, red, like all that. So I just, I'll take the blood. I'll put it right in the middle here. Whoop. There was nice. more in there than I felt like there was. So, um, Did yeah. Have a drip makeup bit? thing. Makeup thing. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a wound. You're bleeding. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna take this. I'm just gonna rub in that paint everywhere. Oh, snap! That looks real. Just give it a little bit. Um, remember, it's gonna be darker toward the center where the injury is. And don't worry about how like it's coming out like pink and white. If you can see that, um, we're gonna come back to that. Don't worry. Um, that's where your eyeliner is gonna come in handy because we're gonna add black lines in here. We're gonna go around the edges with a little bit of black. I think we might do it like this is a dirty. Like infected, <laughs> infected wound. Black. Hmm. I don't know. You're not hygienic. Is basically what the story tells us. Do a little purple for bruising or something like that around the edge here. If there's people out here that really know how to do this for a living and are like yelling at me right now. I'm sorry. I'm hurting your feelings. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at this. They're not saying that. They're saying it's great. Remember, we're not filming a movie. This is for Halloween party, so we're going for dramatic. It's going to be dark, too. Um, a fun thing I did one year is my friend wanted to be a demon snatched from hell. So she had <laughs> horns, and what I did is I gave her a burn around the eye, like a seven of nine type burn, and then I did... Um, like another one like on the neck right here <clears throat> and um so i did the red and like um i did it like a burn but then in the in the in-betweens i used neon paint in mm. there and so i because you know i knew at the party there was going to be a black light and so she oh. glowed in the dark oh that's cool so like all of her burns were like that like crust like coming under the crust oh, that's... very cool okay so we got some purple I think your thing's still a little wet for me to be able to apply this black makeup. Okay, so it's still a little a little too wet for me to add the the black on top here. So I didn't even didn't even blow very hard. Let me try the cream. Ooh. Ooh. Oh gosh. Now it's all infected. So if you're doing a movie and you're or you're putting makeup on for a movie would you be more inclined to make it more dramatic or less dramatic um it or depends what it is honestly like if we're talking about the walking dead i would definitely say they they gear a little more toward like super dramatic mm. um you know and they also like their if you look closely like their monsters kind of tell a story um you know their their injury the life of the the walker, like, a, a lot of times, like, the injury might be like, oh, that walker was run over by a lawnmower or something like that. Mm. Or, you know, um, I'm, I'm soaking up a little bit of the the black because it, it went a little overboard. But you want to pull at it a little bit. Once it's dried, you can pull at it Ooh. a lot, uh, really well. So um, a, another technique we could do here as well is, if you remember our tissue paper, we got one little piece. We can do it over the wound like this. And then we're going to cut down the middle of it. Mm. So, like, the wound's underneath. So we're going to lay that over there. We're going to try that, actually. Do you have a fork I could use? Like, yeah. it'll be usable again. We won't yeah. destroy the fork. I'm okay, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that on your own. Um, something with a tiny, tall, like, like a tip. That's why I was saying, like, tweezers would work, because they have the sharp edges, and they're small, and you can pull at them. But also so you can do a little oh, cut. Baby. Yeah, baby fork's perfect. Um... So this is going to be basically like removing, I'm going to glue this down, but I'm going to make a little cut in the middle here. See, 
and then we're gonna pull it apart. Like this is so you can see his wound underneath. But let's keep it together for right now. Try and get the excess off. Yeah. So this this is another thing you could do Jackets afterwards. Now. I probably didn't need to add the purple to your arm yet. I just realized. Um, so you just take it, and this is just a couple of dabs here, because you don't have to go. It's just one piece. Oop. I guess the ply wasn't thick enough. <laughs> oh gosh, my hair. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. So you're going to have like the one alopecia arm. Okay, so now it looks like you have a little bit more of a little more trauma. You could probably just have started with this, cut it, and then put the fluffs of cotton ball in the middle if you mm -hmm. wanted to do something like that. Um, see, sometimes I like to figure it out as I go. Just yeah, yeah, picked yeah. pick the worst paper possible to do this. <laughs> I regret that. I feel like this is me and me more and more getting con more and more concerned about how badly this is going to hurt to take off. And you more and more are being like, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It will definitely hurt. So the, I could have just started with the toilet paper. I probably let you down a terrible, terrible route. I would have started with the toilet paper, cut the circle in the middle, and then done, and then fluffed up the cotton balls in the middle. But instead we get a little extra volume. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's really pulling apart today. <laughs> I have picked the worst latex to use and um Do you need more of this? Not yet. Okay. Don't do it yet. Because I'll have to seal it to your arm too as well. Um but there is a little bit of a layer here now that we can pick at um, in a in a few minutes here when your when your arm dries a little bit more. Well, the idea was supposed to be that the, that piece of paper just went right over the mound and open, but it split a lot easier than I expected. Man, I've got to buy thicker toilet paper. Is what I've learned. But well, I mean, this is paper bad. towel probably would have worked a little better. Also, I'm being impatient, and this is what happens when you don't wait long enough. So, the it's like not dry yet, and so it's ripping apart. Ugh, this looks terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> you're, you're so disappointed. I am. I'm not. I am not happy with this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my actual arm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell the difference anymore. So we're gonna pull at it a little bit. Pull at it. Give it some texture. There's a way to do this with gelatin as well. Ooh. Um, and <laughs> just scream in pain when it's really you. Yeah. So I know. Um, it, uh, there's, um, I forget how to do it. I, I'll have to look it up and maybe do a different tutorial because clearly this one's not coming out very well. Um, it, it's, it involves like microwaving, like plain gelatin. Hmm. Um, you know, it comes in that white and orange box, uh, and you microwave it and use that and like, you can put it on your face and then like pull at it. And then you put latex over that. I've tried it once or twice. It wasn't. It's a lot of work, and I feel like it didn't really come out Ooh. amazingly. Okay, this is starting to look like something. Ah. Shh, shh, shh. You did. <laughs> <laughs> that blood is, in fact, real. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact about my Halloween costume, that's me. <laughs> this is not a costume. This is an emergency This is an room actual trip. wound. Yeah, this is... It cuts to us in the emergency room later. Well, it went horribly wrong. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, someone does, like, actually injures their arm so that they can win first prize in a costume yeah. contest. But then they get, like, second. They, like, don't even win. We've got to let that dry a bunch. We're going to... We're going to... Come back? Come back, yeah, I think. So okay. we'll see in a few minutes. So he's dried up a little bit. Um, so we're going to apply a little bit more here. Like I said, it's a... To make sure I was recording again. Like I said, oh no, it's like I've actually wounded you. <laughs> it's tripping. I'm going to keep it all nice and gross in the middle. Because that's where the wound, the major wound was. Mm. There. So I'm just going to let it pool right here. Now, um,. There is also some other types of blood makeup, like there's scab makeup, um, and I'm, I highly recommend that because that's very easy to apply to like your face or something. Um, 
without it, uh, without having to add anything to give it texture. It kind of looks like a bruise. Okay, so I am gonna add, I think a little bit more black around the edge here. So I like to get a little bit, you know, I just like to dab at it here a little bit, a little bit of black. Kind of, you want this wound to look like maybe it was rubbed in dirt or something, you know, it's infected, it's gross, he's dying. Um, uh, probably use a little bit more blood to be honest. Blood? Blood? I keep saying it every time. That kid in the back seat. Is this real life? This wound has seen some. This is a very Walking Dead. It's really what I should have just done is Walking Dead. This looks disgusting. Okay, so why a blow dryer would really help you is also when you uh, pull the peaks up and you blow dry it while it's still, it'll dry and make it like the, the peaks of it. Yeah, nice and crispy and hard. Um, so I'm just going to give you a pull at you a little bit more around the edges there because we want it to be like he is being eaten alive there. Could probably add some purple, maybe. Um, got a little bit of Got a little bit of purple in my clown kit over here. I just try to think, what does a bruise look like? But again, it doesn't have to be overly realistic. You know, you can do greens if you want it to be like nice and nasty. Also, um, like I think what you were saying before, oh my God, if, I went in the black. Oh jeez. If you're at the Halloween party or the making that so scary or whatever, I feel like being a little over dramatic. And well, I guess you probably couldn't bring gore. He said. Yeah, I probably the, this would be but, more like. But your even own. at ha Halloween night, if this is part of your costume. Uh, it's at nighttime, so if it's a little over dramatic, that's probably a good thing because people can actually see it. If you're like real subtle with your things, like people are just gonna be like, "Oh, did you get a scratch? Yeah, like, oh, did you fall down the stairs or right. what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, the rest of your arm should be done. Like, what have you done? How did this happen to you? Is the mm. story you wanna you wanna tell? So, um, when it's completely dry, what I would do is take your um, eyeliner and just kind of go in and do into the uh, the area a little bit more. Um, and make this area black and then do the blood on it too. Cause then that, that makes it look really dark and it'll stay mm. dark. Um, and I had black paint on the tips of my fingers. Um, so that's, that's that. How about we leave that arm on and I will just do the Iron Man one really quick. Okay. I'm gonna turn your lamp on really quick. Okay, so we're gonna do the Iron Man one really quick. It won't take that long. This is gonna be inspired by like just a battle damage Iron Man. He's got that huge bruise on his face from Iron Man. Uh, from the Civil War, and then in Iron Man 3, he's got like this fish hook thing. Cut on his nose. It's yeah. almost like he broke his nose, but it also like gashed into him a little bit. So there's this stuff I have called bloody scabs, um, and I've seen it before. It's like, it's like um, there's different types of blood that you can get, but this one's a little more, um, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's a little chunkier. Yeah, it's very chunky. It's almost like solid. Like it's mm. stick. It's a, a stick. So like you could go in and I can add this to the center of your cut. But this this would be really easy because what I would do for Steve's is I am just going to do this with some uh, eyeliner right here, right across the center of his nose. Because that's usually where people get hit and they do kind of a want to rub it. There, see, so it's, like, and then you just take it and you tap it on there. And this is, this always looks like it's like fresh. Mm. So it's got like a very, like, I just want a little bit, right? There we go. Need that mound of it, just right there. So it's like black, so he's got that. Um, so he's gonna have a little bit of a broken nose. And then we're gonna do an eye. So we're gonna t use, again, the, the area of his eye. I'm gonna wipe my hands really quick. And then we are gonna do a little bit of a bruise right here. So I'm gonna use the foundation kit, whatever this is, I don't know, eyeshadow. Going in with purple. Sorry, close your eye there for me. You're just gonna, I get, the, the eye has this natural socket that you're just gonna Kind of follow, follow. Yeah. yeah so you just follow that with the purple i do the purple first now you want to make this look like a really bad bruise so we're just kind of going in that circle there and the bruises actually do go up over the eyelid just a little bit then we're going to take um i'm just going to do a little bit of the eyeliner 
and so like right on the cheek like the socket like the edge of the socket how you have that you feel like your cheekbone it's like mm -hmm. the eye socket cheekbone meeting area that's where like i imagine the fist hits you mm -hmm. so at least that's what it looks like in the movie so i'll do a little bit of the black there you want to do like the side of the pencil Put a little bit more of a rough again. Don't worry if it clumps a little bit. Again, you're just going to like tap it. Just keep patting it. I just keep it tapping it because it eventually you'll get a little bit of... I'm going to give it a little bit of a bruise. a little bit um it's a little hard to tell i think it's a little dark to tell now so like this is a good example of how like steve said again make is not so scary you know what i mean like you're gonna or a dark you know a halloween parties are usually in the dark yeah so you know exaggerate make a little it, bit yeah make it obvious yeah I mean, you definitely look like you have a bruise in your eye right now but it looks a little too like spot on for me so, so uh close your eye and look up with your eye closed? No, like, your eyeballs have to look up in your head and then close them. Yeah, there you go. I should probably do it. Like, like you legitimately look like you might have um, hurt yourself. <laughs> like um, <laughs> Just going to Wawa yeah. like this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Tony also kind of has, like, a little bit of, like, a, you know, cuts here and there. Um, so what you could do, again, is you would take the spirit gum. I would take the, the cotton and roll it up. And you're going to want to, like, just apply one. Like, I would do it on this cheek, like, right here. So you've got your, like, kind of mark. Will you turn your head this way for me? So we're going to give him just a little, just a little bit of a cut. I'll leave it like that. I'm literally just going to use the tip of my finger on the latex, put that on there. Just really to kind of glue it to him more than anything else. Mm, it smells real good that close to your face, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Right in my eye. Hold on, keep your eye closed and look up for me. I have to just wipe this part out with my thumb. There you go. Okay, so. Let that dry for uh, a minute here. It should be pretty quick. It already feels like it's drying pretty good. Um, but this is going to be a super easy uh, cut here because what you're going to want to do is we're basically going to make this red and you're going to want to outline it with the eyeliner black underneath of it um, so it looks like that dark, deep red. And we're just going to do a little bit of like a blood trickle just down your cheek here. Um, we're going to, uh, this is very important to be careful about this because you want to um, make sure that, you know, somebody with a beard, you really want to keep it out of there. I always like to stay completely away from people's facial hair, eyebrows, uh, whatever. Because as we can see here, this is a part of Steve at this point. So, um, yeah, I'm, unfortunately, I don't, I'm not going to have enough time to like really get in here and finish this, but I would usually darken this up a lot more. Um, you know, again, just, you can use the grease makeup. You could use like um, the pay the other makeup, whatever you want to do. Get in there, make it, darken it up, poke around with the uh, where did I put the fork? It? The fork, yeah. Um, the you know sharpen this this up really good, and you can just go in and like once it's dried, you can go in and like fill in under the wrinkles, and it will really give it some depth to the texture. Mm. So like this. This, this, this. Just tilt this for me. Like, so the bite's here. Fill that in there. Fill that there. Um, if you want to get different color eyeliners, like if, if there is a purple eyeliner, I'm sure there is, but um, if you can find one, oops, um, you know, you can get in there with like a green one. Mm. Maybe add a little bit of greens in there. Just like a dark green if you can find it. Um, like, and then like, I'll just rub it a little bit, like, just kind of make it blend in just a little bit more. But it adds that, like, kind of depth to the to the wrinkles. It's very, you, your arm looks very uh, fretty right now. <laughs> um, and, yeah, that's going to hurt a lot when you take it off today. Sorry. 
Um, <laughs> well, as we were going, I was like, oh no, with well, every with every layer. Oh yeah, it was the second layer that really did you in. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I could I should have had a little bit better of a game plan before I went in. But clearly, like he could go somewhere. Like we could go to a party now and like this you could show that, and it would be like, whoa, like you right. know. Um, well, and also it's on there good enough that I'm not worried that if I went to a party, I wouldn't be like, oh, if I bump into something, it's all gonna, yeah, come flying off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's the thing too. Is it's really it's gonna be with you. Um, but I've got some. Uh, got a little bit of foundation blended in you can, yeah so you can get to that and then you know what i mean like go back with skin flesh tone foundation and try and blend that in a little bit you know obviously this is ivory so this is really like really pale and because we're in florida our arms are a lot tanner <laughs> so it's something that you're gonna want to like when you get this just m go and like kind of match it up with whatever your skin, skin tone is, yeah. And that'll make it a little less, a little less obvious, you know? Get that bruise there. So it looks, it gives it that kind of under the skin look a little yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. You know? So that part looks like, actually looks like a bruise under your skin, like. Yeah, for sure. And it's all, it's all your preference. You know, if you want to do browns in here or whatever, I don't know. What, what's the damage? Like I said, like for me, I'm imagining this is an infected zombie bite. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, I've got the bruise from the biting, and it looks like they pretty much ate at your flesh pretty. Also, if you're someone like me that tried to do this, and it would just end up horribly, just go, I would say, go into the fact of, like, not really knowing what you're going to be, and then, you know, like, you went in with the fact, like, someone could go in with the fact that it's going to be a zombie bite, and if it doesn't end up looking like a zombie bite, and it looks like something else, then maybe it's a good way to switch up the costume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but that's that, you know, I would, like I said, I, it's, it's a little wet, but if I would dry it, I would add a little bit more blood, um, and probably go with the scabbier blood. There is a type of blood that you can dry, you can buy that dries and it looks wet. Um, but you can see like the foundation a little bit here, but if he's pale, like you could do the whole arm up like this, um, maybe hit it with some baby powder. It'll make it a little less shiny. Um, but that's that. It definitely looks like you've got a disease of some sort. Yeah. Some sort of apocalyptic Something outbreak Something got to me. To you. Yeah. And so it's kind of cool. You know, it's you could do one of these on your neck. Yeah. And that would be a nice, like, rip you apart. Um, so let me see your face real quick here. All right. Put oh, my... wow. It's uh, pretty solid. Yeah, it, it will it will be very firm um, when it's done. It's, it, it's not like a... Le when it's completely dry, it'll be like... It's it's there, you know what I mean. So that's why uh, the two face one is very impressive, you know. I mean, if you look at it as an a at an angle, it looks like more. I don't know if they could see from there, but you know, it, it has like it's definitely three dimensional. Yeah. It's not, I mean, when you look at it like this, I notice it, it's kind of hard to tell. We'll get a we'll get a close shot really in the some, light when we're before yeah. we before we go too, so you can see it a little better. Um, but yeah, and, and see, so you get the tip, and then you're, you you look at it, and you'll you like look for parts that you're like, okay, it's white there. Uh, get a better eyeliner too. Um, but you know, find the spots where you're like, ah, oh, it looks a little white there. Let me. How about I just like lightly pull this across, and we'll give it depth. You know, like give it give it a story. Give it your own story. Mm. So let me see your eye here. So we're just gonna like I'm kind of kind of follow this underneath there, and then. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of the blood. I'm gonna do uh, a little bit more of this stuff. This stuff is, uh, I, I, I'm clearly using, it's a little old. So it's a little more dried out. Like, it, it wouldn't, it, I mean, it's normally sticky and scabby, but it would, it's like holding itself together a little more than it normally does. But I loved, like, this is one of my favorite makeup things I've ever gotten, the bloody scabs, because it was literally like, okay, let me just do a quick, da -da 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 -da, you're done. I feel like doing this makes it, so, like, for the Iron Man uh, example, it's like, it shows, like, a depth to the character, too. It's like, makes, like, you know, Iron Man's not always, uh, you know, pristine and perfect. Like, he yeah. gets beaten up sometimes, and it makes it, like, more real. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of a... 
Well, we'll get a couple of closing close-up shots. I'm going to try and clean up the cut a little bit on the top here where I went a little over. So you want to keep all the blood to underneath because if you get cut here, it goes underneath. So I, But to do that, I had to tap over. So you'll just want to wash away that stuff. But um, I think we'll call it there. Cool. Um, we'll do a, I'll do a couple close-ups, either overlay them over this part or at the very end here. Should I put on the helmet? Um, yeah, we'll do the shot in the helmet <laughs> when, I, yeah. when I wipe your face a little more. Um, because I want people to be able to see the bruise. It's just getting a little dark. But that's that. I don't know how beneficial this tutorial was. We'll do shorter, more succinct ones, but I thought this would be just a fun, like... Introduction. Yeah, and... show you how you can... It's like what, what you said. Like, maybe just start and be like, I don't know what I want, but give me some damage. And then we'll see what old clothes we have and we can tear them up. Like, one year I didn't know what to be, so I basically messed up my face like this a little bit. And then um, I had an old t-shirt, and um, I took scissors and, like, stabbed it through the shoulder of the shirt, not when mm. I was wearing it. And, um, you know, I put the blood on the shirt, and then underneath I glued a couple cotton balls. Oh, and yeah. I had them blood, like, painted them black with blood. And so they kind of soaked into the shirt, and it looked like I'd been, like, shot. Oh, and wow. so I, I got this a dollar store um, gun. It looked like a space gun. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be a zombie hunter. So I got an old suitcase um, strap. I glued it to the gun and I strapped the gun around me and then I was just this guy like this person so I gave myself like the bruise the face whatever and it was just you know it was the story I made because I was like ah oh, what am I gonna how am I gonna beat myself up but, yeah um, so let us know um, if you try it if you do this um, if you have tips and tricks for me or myself this is literally just cheapo stuff and um, you know the next ones maybe we'll be a little more prepared in or something like that but we'll see what the other ones are um i want to know if you guys have done this if you want to try this um or what i don't know just communicate with us you know tweet at us Diz pop show in the comment section below whatever um but that'll do it for this episode um so we'll see you again next time on another episode of Diz pop bye everyone